Rebecca Valcarso. Let's talk about Hamlet by William Shakespeare, and in particular, examine the question of why Hamlet delays killing Claudius. Now, you might know that Claudius killed Hamlet's father, who is king of Denmark. And on top of that, he marries the queen. So he takes the kingdom, the throne, as well as the queen. And this Claudius is not just anyone, it's the brother of the former king, that is Hamlet's uncle. So Hamlet's uncle has killed the king, his father, Hamlet's father, and has now married Hamlet's mother. And this makes a great motive for Hamlet to get revenge. Now, why doesn't he just like gather an army and go get Claudius or just by himself, just walk into a throne room and like kill him? Um, now, the king does have some guards, you know, that, that watch out for him, but Hamlet has such access. He probably could just go do this. Why doesn't he? Okay, well, first of all, he thinks he has a plan when he first finds out that this murder is the explanation for his father's death. It comes from the ghost of his father. So the ghost of his father comes and says, I was killed. And Hamlet says, oh my gosh, I've got to avenge your death. And... I'm going to put an antic disposition on. And that's his plan, to act strangely, to act a little bit insane. What will this gain him? I don't know. He doesn't explain himself. Maybe he thinks that if he acts strangely, he'll have more access to the king or he'll have, like, people will give him a wide berth and, like, not question him as he's doing some planning or plotting. I don't know his true... Uh, idea here, like what advantage it'll be to behave this way, but he thinks that somehow this will um, help him get get his plan done, you know, of, of killing Claudius. If he can just act strangely and throw people off, you know, maybe this will let him go kill the guy. Maybe he's thinking that also if he does kill him, that maybe he won't be held responsible for the killing if he can sort of plead insanity or something. He doesn't explain himself, so I'm kind of guessing here. But his first plan is just to act strangely. I don't think it's a very good plan. <laughs> um, and he doesn't seem to make any steps toward some sort of, you know, weapon or, or time of day when it would be good to go kill the king. So, yeah, I don't know. But that's his first idea. Like, I'm going to put on an antic disposition, and that seems to be his first plan. The next time we see him, he is um, with Ophelia, or we don't see him, but Ophelia reports that, hey, Hamlet came into my room and he was acting all strangely, and we see that Hamlet's having to process their breakup. Ophelia's his girlfriend, and they've had a relationship, but her father found out about it and said, you can't talk to him anymore, and Hamlet is now, oh, you know, rejected. So he's dealt with his father's death. I mean, he's in the midst of grief. He's still grieving. The father comes as a ghost to say, I was killed, not just, I didn't just die, I was murdered. And he has to process that. And now the girlfriend, so he's got a lot on his mind. <laughs> and we kind of understand the scene with that Ophelia reports as maybe a goodbye, like, oh, I can't, I can't think about you, girlfriend, anymore. We, are, we really are breaking up, and also I have to turn my attention to this meaner task, you know, this more rough task of killing someone. So, so goodbye forever, you know, that seems to be the thing. So I can see that one reason he might delay is that he's just processing a lot. He's, he's slow to, to fully grieve over his father's death. He's slow to process that Ophelia is really gone. He's trying to grapple with all of that clear his mind so he can like get acting right start planning and plotting to actually kill Claudius and avenge his father's death okay so that's maybe why he's delaying the other thing is we know he's a deep thinker so maybe the real reason is he just has like analysis paralysis we see him being very philosophical he gives a speech about what a piece of work is man it's a beautiful speech, and I love all the wording, and I love how Hamlet thinks. It's really interesting to see how his mind works 
and how he can appreciate the beauty of the world and the potential of humankind and at the same time be really depressed about the, his own, um, uh, like the, the, the fact that humans are capable of such great things and yet they do such terrible things. He's really disillusioned about that. And he's kind of depressed about himself and about the world because look what's happening. Like his world is falling apart. But we see him being very philosophical and maybe he's overthinking this. Instead of just killing Claudius, he's thinking about, oh, but you know, what is death? And, and maybe I should die. And what if I died? And he has the to be or not to be speech about, oh, you know, should I really act in the world or should I like give in to all the um, suffering? Um, and, and should I act to end suffering by dying, you know, by killing myself? So he's really um, thinking a lot about the big questions about life and death. And, and maybe he can't kill someone until he resolves some of this in his mind, like what death even is and what this would mean for him if he did kill someone. He seems to be thinking so much that he forgets to act. Now, some people might say it's okay that he doesn't act because killing somebody is a big deal and you should think about it a long time. But in Hamlet's position, he really is um, taking it as his main mission to avenge the death of his father, and he is failing in that mission. So, ah, maybe this makes him feel even worse. Like, like, ah. Uh, uh, and so he's caught in this cycle of thinking and thinking and not acting. Okay, another thing. He's not 100% sure that the ghost has told him the truth. At, toward the end of the play, he decides that he should have these actors who are visiting the court put on a play, and when they put on the show, they're going to enact a murder. And then Claudius will see this show, and then Claudius will realize that his murder is known about. Like, he'll, he'll get freaked out, and Hamlet will see his reaction to the play and know whether he's guilty or not. Because Hamlet is now thinking, maybe this ghost lied to me in order to trick me into committing a murder that's not justified. So he spends a bunch of time getting the play put on and it's all this, and like they even rewrite the play a little bit so it looks more like the murder that really happened or according to the ghost happened. And sure enough, Claudius does respond in a way that makes Hamlet feel, yes, he's guilty. He really did do what the ghost said he did, kill my father. So yes, I need to kill him. However, by showing this play and, and showing Claudius the play, Hamlet has kind of shown his hand, meaning Claudius is starting to get suspicious that Hamlet might know about the murder. And if Hamlet knows, Hamlet is a threat. And Claudius is an actor and not just a thinker. Claudius has already killed one person and he's thinking, Hamlet's out to get me. I'm going to get ahead of this. And so... Before Hamlet has a chance to try to kill Claudius, Claudius has him sent to England, and he's told England to kill Hamlet when he arrives. So Claudius already has a plan, quick, quick, in place to kill Hamlet. Now that plan doesn't work. Hamlet comes back, and Hamlet um, is then, you know, a threat again, and quick, quick, Hamlet, I'm sorry, Claudius has a second plan to kill Hamlet. And on top of this, by now, Hamlet has actually killed somebody else, and um, the, the, the son of that person wants to get back at Hamlet too, so the king and he are plotting together to kill Hamlet. So very quickly, Claudius has two plans for killing Hamlet, and Hamlet still doesn't have a plan for killing Claudius at all. He's still, and this is a you know four-hour play, so it's only at the final seconds when Claudius's plan actually works, and Hamlet is going to die, that's when Hamlet finally kills Claudius. So it took him the entire play, and it didn't work out well. Like you would think, if he would just kill Claudius, he could like take over the kingdom. His mother would be able to just like be queen or maybe retire or something. Um, <laughs> but no, because now the queen is dead because of Claudius accidentally killing her. And Hamlet's going to die because the second plan to kill him actually works. 
and um, Claudius himself is going to die because Hamlet's now killing him. So there's no one in his whole family left. And in fact, this lets an invader come and take over the whole kingdom. So poof, there are no more Hamlets on the throne of, or even, you know, uncles or anybody. And that's why it's a tragedy. <laughs> Everybody dies. Um, the one time Hamlet does kill someone, it's out of kind of a rash moment. He's been gearing up to kill Claudius and he gets kind of detoured to talk to his mother and then someone in the, his mother's room is hiding and he just hauls off and kills the person without even finding out who it is. So that's not a real plan that he carries out. It's more of a impulsive thing because he's, he's thinking, yes, now I've got to kill Claudius. And then he gets this opportunity to kill somebody, but he doesn't even make sure that it's Claudius. <sighs> so that didn't work out, right? His, even his killing someone, he killed the wrong person. So yeah, he's not good at this. <laughs> he's, and I actually like Hamlet a lot. Um, I like his philosophizing. I love to see him with the players because he's like um, very animated and happy when he's with the, these actors. You can tell that he was like born for the stage or born to direct. And he tells them how, how they should uh, perform and gives them advice about performance. He even writes a little bit of a play that should go into the play. He also has written love poetry to Ophelia. That's the kind of person he is. He's a philosopher. He's a thinker. He's an artist. That's who he really is. So this job of killing someone is not in his wheelhouse, I think. I, I think he's just not cut out for this job. He makes a bad avenger. <laughs> this is not what he's good at. And when he's confronted with it, given this task, he thinks about it so much and, and dances around it and wants, wants more proof. And he just doesn't bring himself to do it. He's, he's too philosophical about what it all means. And so he just doesn't act. He thinks and he doesn't act. Yeah. And I admire that thinker side because I'm kind of like that myself as a, a teacher, you know. But he made it get in the way of, of like saving the kingdom. And he let it get in the way of doing what the one mission he had, which was to avenge his father's death. All right, well, I'm curious what you think about why he doesn't kill Claudius sooner, why he delays. You can leave your ideas in the comments, and I hope you'll watch Hamlet, actually. I recommend the Kenneth Branagh version. It's a big four-hour-long thing, but it's beautiful, and it's well done, and it's just my favorite version of filmed Hamlet. So I hope you check it out, and I hope you join me for another video soon. <laughs>